Unwanted reverb caused by ugly room reflection that sometimes gets picked up by a microphone can cause a lot of problem within the intelligibility of a dialogue. We're going to explore how the D-Reverb module can attenuate and sometimes even remove unwanted reflections. In this chapter, we're going to be talking about reverb and unwanted reverb. Now, this doesn't refer to the artificial reverb that most of the time you will apply to a recording in order to make, you know, uh, a vocal sounds a little bit more appealing, sounds bigger and brighter. Now, over here, we're talking about the natural reverb that sometimes is caused by a reflection within the room that gets picked up by a microphone, creating a thick layers of reverbs, reflections that will end up creating a lot of confusion behind the dialogue. All right, I'm going to let you hear what I'm talking about. All right. So here I have a recording and the reverb, it's very noticeable. Give it a listen. In many cases, when we do interviews or we shoot a scene which has an indoor, the problem that we run into it is reverb. Now the reverberation happens with the sound hitting reflective surfaces and then coming back at the microphone, which in this case is picking up the direct sounds plus the reverb. Now the dereverb module within Isotope RX is going to help us to reduce the amount of reverberation around our direct sounds. Let's see how it works. All right. As you could hear, there is a noticeable reverberation in it that doesn't help the dialogue. Actually, it makes it very unclear. So what I'm going to do is import this track into Isotope RX and then work with my dereverb module. Before I do that, as a normal procedure, I'm going to create my playlist. I'm going to go into my audio suite, choose Isotope RX Connect, send it to repair, send. All right. I'm going to open my D reverb module, and there you have it. Now, I'm going to explain a little bit how the D-Reverb module works. The first thing you want to do is, again, if you don't know really what you're doing, there is always a menu that will tell you, in other words, what to do or pretty much start setting up the module in, 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 in the best way scenario. Um, I generally work with this module with the Learn button. So the first thing I'll do would be to highlight the entire section, click Learn, and as you can see, the module is learning the profile of my reverb. Now, over here, we have a set of sliders. Now, those are the, um, these sliders correspond to specific gate bends. And we have low frequency, low mids, high mids, and highs. And over here, pretty much, the D reverb module is telling you how much of each one of these specific bends he will attenuate. Within the reduction slider here, we can decide if we want more reduction versus, which means um, a little bit more of a drier signal versus a more reverberant signal. Now, the more we'll increase the reduction, the more isolation we're going to have between dialogues and reverb. Though, again, you will introduce a lot of artifacts. So you need to be very cautious with this reduction module. Now, another thing you could do would be to enhance the dry signal. This will pretty much split the reverberations plus the dry signal and enhance the dry signal. Again, reverb is divided in two sections. You have an early reflections, which corresponds to the, the first reflection that the sound is going to have as soon as it hits the, um, the adjacent walls, so the, the ceilings, the walls, and the, and the ground. And then you have the late reflection, which are the one that in most cases create the most of the problems, which are the ones you want to try to attenuate with this module. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and give a preview of what this module has analyzed. Actually, I'm going to redo this. And I'm going to click on output only to hear what is extracting exactly. All right. There Let's see if I remove the output only and I click on the enhanced dry signal, what the preview signal will let me hear. In many cases, when we do interviews or we shoot a scene which has an indoor, the problem that we run into it is reverb. Now the reverberation... I'm going to try to 
um, raise a little bit the overall reduction. Let's see what happens. In many cases, when we do interviews or we shoot a scene which has an indoor, the problem that we run into it is reverb. Now the reverberation happens with the sound hitting reflective surfaces and then come. As you can hear here, I have abused a little bit too much the, the reduction slider. So I'm going to reduce this. And what I'll do right now is, again, highlight my entire selection and then use the compare button to compare the before and after I have manipulated the, the reverb through the through the reduction slider. So I'm gonna put my reduction slider at two, press compare, and let's hear. In many cases, when we do interviews or we shoot a scene which has an indoor, the problem that we run into it is reverb. Now the reverberation happens with the sound hitting reflection. All right, let's see what happens if I change a little bit the amount of frequency reverb in the high range and bring this slider up to four. Click and compare. So again, I've put this, I've kind of like took a snapshot of this module and then I can compare uh, the settings between the original, the second snapshot and the third snapshot. In many cases, when we do interviews or we shoot a scene which has an indoor original. In many cases, when we do interviews, you reverb. In many cases, when we do interviews or we shoot a scene which has an indoor. It sounds much better to me. So what I'll do is to give it a pass a render. And as you can see already from the spectrum, we have cleared out a little bit of the reverb. And then over here, I could actually add a second module, which is a dialog de reverb. And what I'll do is just simply go into the settings and use just a light reverb attenuation. Again, within the reduction, I'm going to lower it a little bit more. And I'm just going to compare the before and after. All right, so we have original. In many cases, when we do inter and the reverbed. In many cases, when we do interviews or we shoot a scene which has an indoor. Now there is a little bit of artifacts. So what I'm going to do is to lower the reduction a little bit more. I'm going to leave ambient preservation at 85% and again the sensitivity at 5. Compare. All right. In many cases when we do interviews or we shoot a scene which I will select everything, render. And as I told you before, this module takes a little longer to process. And so right now through the history menu down here in the bottom right corner, I can let you hear the initial state of how we got our recording. In many cases, when we do interviews or we shoot a scene which has an in and the last edited version. In many cases, when we do interviews or we shoot a scene, the reverb is completely gone. And I mean, right now, what you could do is, of course, use some um, gain processors, such as an equalizer, to kind of like reshape a little bit more the, the timbre of this dialogue. And with sound design and room tones and ambience and backgrounds, you can actually build a better, more healthy and under control environment around this dialogue. So what I'll do right now is to send it back into Pro Tools and render this. All right. So we have the before. In many cases, when we do interviews or we shoot a scene and after. In many cases, when we do interviews or we shoot a scene which has an indoor. And there you have it. So as you can see, the D-Reverb module, it's possibly one of the hardest of the module to use 
because it's the one that introduced a lot of artifacts. But if you use it cautiously between the dereverb module and the voice dereverb, you can obtain great results. And then again, remember to have the bigger picture in front of you. So it's not only how great this dialogue sounds, but how great this dialogue will sound along with the entire picture of the sound design. This was the dereverb module. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Ciao.